with the NFL draft being over, Andrew Barry and the Browns front office have once again turned to free agency in order to shore up some of the Browns' talent on defense, this time signing veteran safety Rodney McLeod on what is anticipated to be a one-year deal that is relatively cheap, but most of that money being guaranteed. So while Rodney McLeod probably won't be signing for big money or anything, he will probably be getting m the majority of what that contract number says he will be getting as far as money goes. Last season, he played on the Indianapolis Colts, played in all 17 games, had two interceptions, with one of them returned for a touchdown, had 96 total tackles, including eight tackles for loss. That is a, that is a career high for him in tackles, and he also had a career high in plastic past deflections last season as well. He will be reuniting with defensive coordinator Jim Schwartz, who he spent a lot of his career with in Philadelphia. That was He cited that as a reason, uh, one of the factors in his decision to sign with Cleveland. He probably won't be a starter, at least immediately, but however, if Grant Delpit gets off to another slow start like we saw from him last season, where he started out not that great and did get better as the season progressed, but if he does have another slow start and Rodney McLeod really take adv takes advantage of the situation here in Cleveland, I wouldn't be surprised to see if Rodney McLeod might steal some starting, some, you know, he might start some games over Grant Delpit if, if Delpit gets out to a slow start and Rodney McLeod is impressing in practice. Wouldn't be surprised to see him on some starting 11s on the defense next season in the years to come. I think this is a really good good depth signing for the Browns because again I, I do feel like he had a pretty good season last year a sneaky good season with Indianapolis this this might be a guy who could maybe start on some other some other NFL defenses but again that that re relationship he has with the new defensive coordinator in Jim Schwartz that seems to have a lot of potential free agents excited to come to Cleveland and uh, including Rodney McLeod obviously so hopefully that this is going to be something that works out and again if he if he isn't you know eye-opening or anything like that he is expected to play more of a you know, he's not going to be a starter, more of a role player, more of a depth piece for for the Browns. But I, I do think this is a pretty low risk, high reward type of move from Andrew Barry. I do enjoy this. Uh, now, something else that the Browns have been getting themselves involved with over the past week is this uh, new dog logo fan contest thing. I, I really, I, I'm asking a genuine question to other Browns fans. Do we care about this at all? Because I, I, I find it hard to... Um, get that much invested into it considering uh, some of the consequences on the field of how th this is really a this is going to be a, a franchise defining year for the Browns because of you know y y this is your first full year with Deshaun Watson and you're making a lot of moves that seem to imply that you're in a win now kind of thing and if it blows up this year then what does that mean for the next few years for the Browns and stuff like that so I kind of find it a little bit hard to get fully into this new uh, dog logo contest especially when uh, I don't really a lot of them are, are kind of they're not look none of these are bad they're obviously really good but I'm looking at them right now and honestly the the one on the bottom right to me is the is clear and far away the best one of the bunch again that's not to disparage the other four but I do feel like the bottom right one is far and away the, the best one out of this out of these five here uh, but uh, something else that it kind of gets me hard to get invested in this with the, the fan vote is that this isn't going to be very relevant to the to what the looks on the field this is mostly stuff for marketing and you might find this on like official team merch that you can get from nflshop.com or something like that or whatever website the nfl uses uh to to sell their merch because this isn't going to be on their uniforms or anything at least last year with the vote for the midfield logo that's something that you would see on the television broadcast for every home game you know brownie the elf being there was a significant thing because that that would that was going to be on your home stadium you would see that for your home games on the broadcast and stuff like that Th this is just mostly like hey help us come up with a new uh with a different face for our marketing program essentially so that's why i kind of find it a little bit difficult to get into stuff like that uh so also the nfl schedule is set to release tonight i will probably have a reaction to that uh when that comes out we already know who the browns will play on the road and at home i'll throw that up on the screen it's just a matter of uh, what order they're going to be playing each opponent, you know, when and stuff like that. What times maybe, although with the, with some of the, the flex weeks, that might still be a little bit to be determined. But so we'll, we'll see how the schedule fares itself out. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you made it this far into it, I will see you at the next one.